as I mentioned earlier, we are going, going to be trying to make kind of this overall shape, how the spine is extruded out from the rest of the body. So let's focus on that now. But what I'm probably going to do, this is a little bit of an unconventional technique, but I'm going to go back to my muscle tool and we're going to build this out of muscles. Now an interesting thing about the muscle tool is, look at this. So as I draw, you'll see that the muscle is extruded a certain distance away from the surface. That's based on your brush strength. So if I use a very strong brush, you'll see we get something that's really tall. So that's what we're going to use for this. And it's going to be big, the brush that is, it's going to be big, and it's going to be very strong. We're going to start out here. And look at that. That's probably about as far as it'll go, maybe a little bit farther. There we go. That's a good start. Let me reduce the strength on that a little bit. And I'll go in with my move tool. Look at it from the side. That was a uh, six I just hit on my keyboard to look at it from the side. Four would look at it from the other side. I'm just going to grab my move tool and just start moving this up until I get the shape that I'm looking for. Now if we look back at the reference, you'll see that it's divided into many uh, sections here and they're kind of uneven in length. So let's focus on that right now. So I'll use my build tool and I'm going to use a, um, I've been using this first alpha, this very soft one, so I'm going to be using a harsher one for this. And again, we're still at a pretty low polygonal resolution, so we're not focusing on individual wrinkles just yet. We're just trying to get the overall shape in there of dividing this into a few seconds. We, sections. We've already kind of done that, as you can see here, by the uneven, uh, by the uneven silhouette. But uh, just keeping my reference handy. Now, as you see here, I'm. I start off shallow on one end and then it gets a little bit stronger towards the end of the ridge. And I'm using a smaller brush to do that. Now right now it is perfectly symmetrical. We will be fixing that later. Might also hold down control and just make some of these grooves really deep very pronounced. Then I'll also go in with my pinch brush and just kind of very subtly, I'm using a very low brush strength when I'm doing this, sort of pinch off some of these ends here. Great, 